All right, so our first basic introductory lesson, base 10 blocks. What are base 10 blocks? Well, these are base 10 blocks. Uh, base 10 blocks uh, come in a few different colors, few, um, but all the shapes are exactly the same. They're usually uh, centimeter cubes for units. And then you have 10 units, which will give you a rod, and then 10 rods, which will give you a flat. Um, you know, for adults, it's probably, it, it, we can see that, you know, this would equal 100, this would be 10, this would be obviously, would be 1. Um, for younger kids, sometimes, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't so um, obvious, so we should never assume. Um, now, um, on, the base 10 blocks are on my little sheet. Um, this is a base 10 chart. And we usually use the base 10 charts for, um, you know, creating numbers, uh, for addition, subtraction, place value, and, you know, they'll have flats, and they'll have the little visu visual, the rods, and they'll have the visual, units, and then the visual. Um, other char other sheets that you find like this, you know, they'll have ones, tens, and hundreds instead of units, rods, and flats. Me, personally, I like it um, referring to them as units, rods, and flats. Um, it just seems that... It's, it's more concrete for the kids, um, and it's a name, it's not a number, um, so it's, you know, it's not five ones, it's five units, and it's, it's very straightforward and, I guess, concrete for the kids. Uh, so, um, for today's case, since we're just doing introductory concepts, I would just not even use the sheet, I just wanted to show it to you. So, first thing, you know, first time introducing um, base 10 blocks to kids, um, especially for younger kids, you just want to get, get have them get the feel of it. So uh, with the with the base ten blocks, just have them play around with, you know, um, a few of a few of the the units, the rods, and the flats, and make some generalizations between relationships. Um, you know, after they play, played around for a bit, you know, they might come and they might say, you know, well, I kind of noticed that, you know, the ten of the units equals. Um, a rod, or they may not. You might have to kind of question them and play along with them and kind of guide them along, and that's fine also. Uh, but once they come to those gen generalizations, it's important because you don't need to like over teach it. You know, they should kind of explore it and see that for themselves, and um, you know, expand that, expand those relationships. Well, okay. Well, we know that ten units equals a rod. How, how many rods uh, do you think um, equal a flat? What number do you think that is? Um, and then, you know, have them play around and they'll say, well, 10 rods equals a flat. Okay, cool. And, you know, if they want, you can you can actually have them use the units and see how many units uh, equal. I mean, that might take a while, but, you know, some kids have a lot of energy and they want to explore it. Other kids may not. They can just <laughs> leave it at the rods. And that's okay also. Um, the next thing I would do is, you know, very basic introduction is, Play games. Uh, games are really important for kids to develop relationships, to pick up generalizations, and just to get used to um, the rods. You know, before we start writing down values um, like 263, um, that's not what we want to do with them first. We want them to explore and to kind of have fun with these rods because, uh, you know, there will be plenty of time to to develop math concepts later. Um, the first few lessons are important for them to get used to it. So one of the first things I like to play with with my kids, um, or kids that I tutor, very simple game, um, ant house. I'm making a house for an ant, and I kind of show them that I'm making a house for an ant. Let me just move this out of the way. Alright, making a house for my aunt friend. And I would just probably use the rods and the ones. I probably would stay away from, um, I would probably stay away from the flats, unless they're really comfortable adding with, with, um, with the flats or the hundred. They're really diaries per kid. 
so after they've kind of made their little ant house, um, you know, it's better with actually with a bunch of kids. So, you know, but one kid is fine. So after they made their ant house, uh, actually after we've modeled how to make an ant house, you know, we count it up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So our ant house has an address. 100. And, you know, we, we encourage kids to make other ant houses uh, with other numbers, you know, maybe even draw it out. You know, it, it's, it's a lot of fun with, um, with kids to kind of explore um, using the rods and the units and having them actually use the same number. And you'd be kind of impressed with, with the many, with the, with the variation of, 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 um, of housing, of, of, of houses based on the same number. So you can see you have the same number 23, and you might have four different kids and four entirely different looking houses using the same combination of numbers. Um, so that's, that's a very basic introductory lesson.